the challenges that we would have faced in the journey of life. The devotee one day was walking and when she saw Krishna, she prostrated, she fell to the feet of Krishna. And she says, Prabhu, the entire world is talking about me, they are laughing at me. But yet today you have come in my direction and I am quite positive that you are here to remind me how very much I'm loved by you. She started to tell the Lord, no one knows my pains, O oh Lord. You are here for me today. Mira ke prabhu giridhar nagar. Mira ke prabhu giridhar nagar. Akhir jat ahi. And she says, Prabhu, I know by your grace and your love for me, you're going to help me to overcome the challenges that I'm facing every moment. Osham oh,
they they will listen to that sound because they know the Lord has blessed them yet to see another day, oh man. This morning on behalf of the Shanti Bhavan Mandir family, please permit me to say Jai Sitaram, a pleasant good morning salam to each and every one of you, along with your respected families and friends. This morning, all of us seated here, a few of us, Sabrina Ji, Ubesh, our dear brother Palidas, myself, Kevin Ji, Bhai Ji Miro, Bhai Ji Meena, Gopal Ji, and the rest of the entire Sabha that you see here this morning. All we want to do is come into your hearts, come into your homes, and celebrate a few moments of devotion. And all of this is possible through the blessings of our dear Brianna behind the cameras, live on Facebook. Today, let's all join together as we clasp our hands, close our eyes, and try to meditate upon the divine light within. And let's pray. Whatever is in the heart, whatever is on your mind, Speak to no one else but your own inner self. Narmada <laughs> 
सिंधु कावी जले अस्मिन सनिधि कुरो एवरीबॉडी टुगेदर त्वमि Listen to good things about the world and people. 
Let our arms be used to help the world, to heal the world, and let our feet help us to traverse the journey of life in a very safe, dignified manner. Om decisions, the best of choices, and allow our lives to flourish with great love. And as we do every Sunday, we will recite these mantras, and I'll ask everybody to kindly recite after me, and let's join together as we ask the Lord for His blessings. Om Gajan Oh, oh, oh. 
the most beautiful personalities in our Hindu community. In our scriptures is the beautiful delight of Radharani. When you talk about love, when you talk about fame and honor, Radha represents that divinity within Durga, Lakshmi and Saraswati. Today we bow to all of them. Hari Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Prem Sur Devi Mata Ki Jai And today we all surrender to this beautiful Lord Bhagavan Shankar The Lord of Peace, the Lord of Compassion The Lord who Prabhu Shri Ram adores very very much my dear sisters and brothers As a matter of fact when Shri Ram was about to cross over the ocean when he was about to place his foot on that bridge that was established the first thing he did was made ovations to Lord Shiva and he told the world that no one is dearer to me than Bhagavan Shiva and who is Shiva? Peace, peace of mind that is the greatest asset to man's life my dear sisters and brothers peace of mind. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare
Jai. And finally, before we go to heaven this morning, let's bow to Prabhu Shri Ram and Chandra and Bhagavan Krishna Kanhaya. One thing we have to like about these two personalities, if you look at them as great men of yesteryears, if you look at them as sages or sadhus, or you look at them as the personality of God, the choice is yours. But they were great souls, great energies that came into this world and left beautiful lessons like our ancestors. The values that they teach us, we can never ever take for granted. Ram and Krishna both said in the Ramayana and in the beautiful pages of the Srimad Bhagavatam where the Lord both spoke and they said whatever we are teaching you, whatever we are telling you, whatever we are preaching to you, you do not have to take it. And that is commendable. You know sometimes we dictate is what I say. The Lord is saying whatever we are telling you is for your benefit. Read it, analyze it, assess the situation, translate it in your life if you feel that it is in importance and then utilize the knowledge which we are bestowing upon you. Beautiful words from our Lord. Om Shri Ram Radhi sacrifices all that they did sometimes I wonder look what they did for us today are we grateful are we thankful are we using the sacrifices that they made today let's sing Ram Krishna Hare Gopal Krishna Hare Ram Krishna Hare
immediately. And the father was telling the child that, you know, whatever I do, I do for you. This is what the parent is telling the, the son. The son looked at the father, you know what the son said? Now, you think, Gopalji, Deepika, 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 the son, we think about this, this coming week I believe in from that life. The children are here, the parents are telling them that whatever we do, we do for you. The child now listens to those words, and how does the child respond? The little boy tells the father, well, I didn't tell you to do that. So sometimes you wonder, all that we do in the world for the benefit of others, you wonder sometimes and you question, are people, our children, everyone, are you taking our advice? Are you listening to what we're saying? Are you witnessing what we're doing? We're doing it for you. Anyone who does something from the heart for others, such a soul is a blessed soul without thinking of himself or herself, but the welfare of our children. So said Ram, so said Krishna, whatever they did, they did it for us. Today we bow to them. Prem Solo Shri Ram Chandra Bhagavan Ki Prem Solo Shri Krishna Chandra Bhagavan Ki At this time, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us, we're going to join together in the Havan Yagya. If you have your Havan Kund set up, please you will follow us in these beautiful mantras. I will make the offerings here as I normally do and I'll hand over the microphone to the Gandharvas here, these beautiful musicians and talented singers and they are going to lead us in these mantras and I will be making the offerings of course and I will tell each step what we are going to be doing so that you can follow along with us and of course the first thing we do is we ignite Agni. I know. 
This morning, once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for logging on and being part of our Sunday morning congregational Hawaniakia. This morning, as I said, Sabrina Chi, our dear Ashley, joining us now, our dear Umish, our brother here, Fadi Das, fantastic singer in our community, our dear brother Miroji, along with his family. They actually thought they were coming this morning for real satsang live, everybody. Um, but Soon, soon that will happen. Um, I'll give you updates on our coming program Saturday, um, what has been going on with the building. So please look out for that information. Um, Miroji is here with Mina, and of course our dear Gopalji, and cannot forget our dear Deepika um, this morning joining us in Satsang. Kevin and Brianna, thank you so much. And once again, Priya and your family, we want to thank you for sponsoring this morning's Satsang. It is my honor now to hand over the microphone to our dear brother Miroji and Mina. They will sing two bhajans. And of course, we have our dear Pali Das here this morning. He's, a, he's, our, he's our real back home, Muhammad Rafi. So we'll have two Muhammad Rafi songs by our brother here this morning. So over now to the Kirtan Sabha. And then we'll conclude with a brief message this morning. समय कैक तारा जब बोले जल थल नब में मधुर से बोले नम
Sunday morning with Krishna's consciousness, with His grace and mercy. To wake up this morning, I'm sure many of us are probably still sleeping. Eh? They say Sunday is a sleeping day. It's a sleeping day, we sleep in. Wake up early, huh? enjoy whatever you see, whatever you're able to touch, all the tangible things in your life, family and all the nice things in your home, go out in the yard, go walk on the road, where, whatever you do, and enjoy for Chalahuraja, for who knows if tomorrow we come and we will have to leave this earth and travel to our next place. This morning I was listening to the radio and this rabbi was talking about um, Intentinement, my favorite channel, um, 24 7. Um, he was talking about a funeral he was officiating. Um, his wife had died and the husband was there over the body, like we normally do. And he kept crying and crying and crying and lamenting. And the rabbi is standing there and he looked and he says, You know, my brother, and all he could hear from this husband, this man is, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. So the rabbi is thinking, you know, and he goes over to him and he consoles him. And he says, you know, my brother, I'm pretty much sure she knows that. And I know you may have had a connection and, you know, but I'm sure she knows you love, you love her. He says, no, you don't understand. He says, the reason I'm saying it now because I never said it to her while she was alive. And this is my humble message today, is to enjoy every moment we get. Enjoy life, enjoy your family, enjoy everything that you have, for tomorrow is not promised to no man. They say words, or words, hmm? the words you say can either encourage somebody, can motivate somebody, can push somebody to great heights or the very words you say can make a person plunged into great depression. So the words we use, the choices of words is very, very important. And whatever you have to say, say it from the heart and say it to be good with for tomorrow. We hold the water in our hands and we sip and we say Om Satyam Yasha Shri Mahi Shri Shretam Swaha. May this inner energy accept this water and bless me with the ability so that every word that comes from within me can be saturated with what? Satyam can be truthful, sincere and allow my words to define my character to the entire world. The way you speak the mannerism in how you speak, the, 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 the mood in how you speak, hmm? the, the attitude, and all of these things carries great weight, how you speak. So my message today is, whatever you have to say, say it today. But say it with love and say it as though you truly and sincerely mean it from your heart. Why? Mitha sab se boliye San Kabir Das He says that our words can be mitha can be sweet as the mithais that we eat Mitha sab se boliye That whatever you say to a person today with the word saturated with love and respect and honor can help that person to climb the ladder of happiness or the very words Your words can be like a mantra that can heal a person can mend a broken heart. And those very words, Tajivachana Kathod. A 
and your very words can be like that of what do you call backroom plimpa, no? Right. Or in America we call it thorns. <laughs> look at me, look at me from out there. Thorns. Any time you speak up, plimpa, that we know it as. And it bores you. And believe you me, you will feel that sting for a long time, no? You will feel it. You will feel that sting for a very, very long time. So Kabir Das is saying here today that whatever you have to say to somebody today, look at them straight in the heart and say what you have to say and say it from your heart. Say it like you mean it. And let your words be sweet, be soothing, be filled with respect for the person who you're speaking to. And most important, let it be like a mantra because the very words you use today, you may not get the opportunity to say them again. They say our words are like a, a arrow. From the time you open your mouth, this is the bow. And from the time you open your mouth and this arrow goes, you cannot get it to come back. So choose your words very, very carefully. Let it be mantra. Let it be healing power. Something of great comfort. So that person, whoever you're speaking to, who is reciprocating your words, will feel loved, will feel welcomed, and will feel overwhelmed with joy to know that someone truly, truly loves me. Remember the husband? He's, he waited till it was too late to say that I love you. He said, I never said it to her while she was alive. Madhura <laughs> Bachana Oh, Our words can be like medicine. And what do we take medicine for? To heal something. To help us with an ache within this body. Madhura vachana hai. Oh, vachana hai. It goes to that part where that, that medicine is trying to heal. Like the words, whatever you're saying to that person, it must help that person elevate him or herself from whatever position that they're in. And Kabir says, Sali Sakir Sakal Shaheed. And that those very words that can uplift a person, can give a person a healing power, those very words can be detrimental and can bring great harm, great forms of pain to that very soul of who you speak to. The Kandrutari, Mandorari, the beautiful wife of Ravana, one day she realized she assessed what was happening in her home, she assessed what was happening within her family, she realized things were not going well. And this is where communication comes in. On our wedding day we promised each other that we were going to talk now it is a betaka after the fact. Betaka after the fact. But we promise that we will communicate, we will talk. If there is something bothering you or something bothering me, we are going to look each other straight in the eyes and we are going to talk and try to fix what's the problem. If we can do that more, we won't have many of the problems we have in our own city. Believe you me. She looked at him one day and she approached him. She wanted to say something to him. Remember? Very soothing, very calm, very sweet words. The, the choice of words are very important. And the mannerism, how we approach a person, is very important as well. She goes to Ravana. She holds him very nicely by his arm. You know, like when you walk a road, you hold hands. No? Right? You hold hands and you walk down the street. And when you see people, you know, you're like, oh, quick. <laughs> That's <all. laughs> 
So he, she held him by the arms and they were walking. And she says, come, I want to talk to you. Please repeat these words after me, wherever you are today. Let's chant the words of our scriptures.
and he needs to hold very tightly, holding of the hands. So she reached out her arms, she held him by his arms, and she took him where? Partly he bhavan to their home. Now very importantly, I want you to analyze what is happening here. Wherever Ravana was, she could have very well addressed him there then. She could have very well said, listen, I need to talk to you now. But she realized certain things should be done behind closed doors. Husband and wife story should stay behind your doors. You shouldn't be out here. She held him very nicely and she says, come with me. Let's go to our apartment. You know, in the palace had different rooms. So their room, Pardahi Bhavan, to their room, she took him and she placed him there. She says, I want you to sit down, please. Boli. She started to speak Param with great Manohar Bani. Manohar means very loving, very respectful, very caring, very touching. Bani means to speak. So very touching words, very, she chose her words very, very carefully. Remember what Kabir Das says, choose your words very carefully because you may not get an opportunity to speak again. Let your words be saturated with sweet love and compassion. So she spoke to him. She said, I want you to sit and I want you to listen to me very carefully. And believe you me, Mandodari was the only person could have ever had Ravana sit down. The powers of our women. But when it's time to talk, you must know how to approach each other, how to sit, how to listen, and how to reflect upon each other. Charananai, she bows to him, she shows respect. That is her pati, her husband. Charananai, she bows to him, Siru, Siru means head. She took her head and she touched it to his feet. She says today, I'm bowing to you, Anchalurupa, because I have something to discuss with you. But I want you to realize who I am, who you are, and I want you to listen very carefully. Sunahu means to listen, Bachan means words, Pia means love. I want you to listen to my loving words. Oh my Parihari, my love, I want you to listen very, very carefully as I address you today. And what was this address about? What was she talking to him about? Whatever he was doing with the whole situation with Sita. She realized it was not right. It is wrong. You're bringing great disrespect, great dishonor to your life, to our home, to our family. And whatever you are doing here, O Ravana, I want you to stop, to give it up. A wife is talking to her husband eh? very nicely. Very calmly, she says, I want you to give it up. Allow Sita to go. Because whoever you are going to go in battle with is not a person you are ready to face. She knows. She knows what was at stake. Her, she's going to lose her husband. She's going to lose her family. Her home is going to be broken up. Which wife would want to see something like this? So she talks to him and she says, I want you to pay attention to my words very, very carefully. He not, oh my beloved, today it is my turn to speak. So which means that Ravana is that? So today she's saying, today is my turn. And I'm going to speak and you're going to be the reciprocator. You're going to listen to my words today. But the whole scene talks about respect, talks about the mannerism, how she approached him. She, it talks about the, 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 the love between a husband and wife, that whatever you have to discuss, discuss it very quietly, very peacefully, and do it in the compounds of your home. Now on Liberty Avenue, now on Facebook, do it in the compounds of your home, and allow yourself to talk and to listen to each other. Communication, as they say, is the key. How you communicate. Hmm? Very lovingly, very respectfully. She goes, she does her respect to him, she shows love, and she starts to speak. And what Kabir Azri says here, Madhur Bachan Hai Aushad, your words can be like medicine to bring great calm to a situation. Or your very words can change a situation from calm to something very serious and bring great pain and misery to everyone around you. So, don't be like the husband. Don't wait till it's too late. Whatever you have to say, say it today. So if you're going to say, 
your love for whoever, when they go home, go home to the intention of you. Wait, I have to make comment. Oh, you hear? You hear? This is a real, you understand? Because if you don't say it, you can't go back it. <laughs> so, what you have to say to me, say it now. And how do we say it? We choose our words very carefully, very loving, very respectful. And let your words be like the mantra. Vasi karan yeha mantra hai. Let your words be like mantras to bring great calm and help to those whoever you are addressing. This is my humble katha to each and every one of us today, my dear sisters and brothers. Once again, to all of our birthday celebrants, I want to dedicate a song to all of you. Now I'm going to tell this young lady here today, Deepika, along with all the other birthday celebrants, Ramona, Anita, Indy, Robert, Aparoy, Tarunji, Ashley, um, little Naila from Palm Coast, Florida, celebrating her eighth birthday, Radhika Ji from Palm Coast, Florida as well, and Mala Neela. I have one thing to say, and Uncle Golin, Uncle Golin is celebrating his birthday coming Sunday. Let's go search for God. Now Deepika is a very intelligent young lady. She speaks very few words. And now she's going to say, Paniji, where are you taking me to this journey? Where are we going to go search? Then I respond to her, let's go. We have to find God somewhere. And then she says, okay, let's go on a journey. And we're going to find our Lord today. Which means he's somewhere. Ganga minahi. Very intelligently she looks at me. Why are we going to the Ganga? Maybe he's not there. Jamuna minahi. You're taking me to the Jamuna. Maybe the Lord is not there. Mehelo minahi. You're taking me to the great Mahals. Why? Because God is there, Paniji. Kutiyo minahi. You're taking me to the Kuti, to the little hut of Drupad. Is the Lord really there? Are Jaha. Now she tells me, you're always telling us, Pandit, that God is where his names are some. Jaha, yaad karo bhagavan Oh, uh -huh. 
let all be free from sickness. Let all see that which is good and let none suffer. Let all be happy and fearless. Let there be sympathy for each other and success for all works and endeavors. Let there be prosperity to the king who protects the people every day and also to the people. Let the bipeds and the quadrupeds be prosperous. Let there be peace in the heavens and in the three worlds. Let us and all other beings have peace everywhere. Creator and sustainer as thou art to the world, thou encourage godliness and establish peace amongst the people. Who is my friend today, let him be in peace. And who is not my friend, let him also be in peace. Oh, peace, peace, peace. Yeah. yeah.